This week, Tom Hanks takes the road to the video shelf. Plus, we'll take a look at Oscar nominee, The Pianist, tonight on The Front Row. We're only one week away from the Academy Awards, and as a handful of good films get prepared for the big night, one film was left way out in the dust. The Road to Perdition joins Michael Moore's Bowling for Columbine on my personal list of the best American films produced in 2002. Tom Hanks stars as a Chicago mob thug torn between two worlds. One is a life of brutality, and the second as a loving family man. Worlds collide when his son becomes an accidental witness to his father's handiwork. Paul Newman co-stars as the patriarch of the mob family, a man who is as warm and caring as he is sadistically cold. There are no easy lines drawn in this film. Good people do some really horrible things, and bad guys show an amazing amount of humanity. The Road to Perdition walks a gray line between right and wrong in a way rarely seen in movies. Hanks gives the best performance of his career, and so does Paul Newman. The Road to Perdition is beautifully shot and rich looking. It's like walking into an Edward Hopper portrait. It's a vision that was shaped by cinematographer Conrad Hall, a man who tragically died only a few weeks ago. Hall did receive a nomination this year for Best Cinematography, and Newman is nominated for Best Supporting Actor. But again, no nods for the bigger prizes like Best Picture or Best Director. Oh well, Oscar's loss is your gain. The Road to Perdition is now available on home video in both VHS and an expanded DVD format. But when he's not dodging American authorities, veteran director Roman Polanski develops some of the more darker and thought-provoking films out there, which ends up being about a movie every ten years. The man who brought the world Rosemary's Baby returns with an insightful look at the Holocaust in The Pianist. Based on true events, a Polish Jew witnesses Nazi atrocities on friends and family. His work as a brilliant pianist allows him to elude capture and live as a refugee in the ruins of Warsaw. But it's hardly a life. He's always just moments away from being discovered. Are you from this flat? You're not registered. It belongs to a friend of mine. I just came to visit, but I must have just missed it. Have you got your identity card? Huh? Let me see your identity card. Yes, of course. I want to see your identity card. What's happening? He's a Jew. The triumph of one individual over death, whether it's real death or the death of a dream, is something to watch. The Pianist isn't exactly an easy film to enjoy, but you can't help to be captivated by this movie. It's truly one of the best stories of hope and determination to come out of the horrors of the Holocaust. Join us for the arrival of the Subway KQ2 star for a day right before the Oscars, and of course join us for the Oscar ceremony March 23rd. That's all for this week. Join us next time right here on the Front Row. I'm Bob Schultz for KQ2.